Welcome to our Building Academy learning episode. My name is Günter Gieser and today we will talk about overcurrent protection and how to select the right miniature circuit breaker. The miniature circuit breaker. This small device protects people and equipment in homes, offices and factories all over the world. ABB invented its precursor over 90 years ago. If there's a surge of electrical current or a fault is detected, the circuit breaker will cut off the power within 10 milliseconds, faster than the blink of an eye. The purpose of an electrical installation in a building is to distribute electricity. Electricity is a commodity you don't always appreciate until it's suddenly not there. Cables and wires are used to transport the electrical energy from the power source, for example a transformer in a neighborhood, to the socket outlet. Cable and wires today usually are made of copper. But even though a pretty good conductor, it has a specific resistance and it gets hot when electrical energy is transported. Depending on the wire size, the cross section, it can carry a certain amount of uh, current called current carrying capacity. In order to prevent the wires to overheat, they must be protected from overcurrent. We can distinguish between two scenarios, overload and short circuit. A wire can be overloaded if too many loads are connected at the same time. The overcurrent is close to the rated current and the main purpose of the protection device is to prevent the wires and cables to overheat. A short circuit is a connection of the phase and either the neutral or the ground. The overcurrent here is a multiple of the rated current. The main purpose of the protection device is to reduce the short circuit energy or let through energy in case of a short circuit. MCBs are perfect protection devices to provide both overload and short circuit protection. The S200 series of ABB's miniature circuit breakers are belonging to the System Pro M Compact. They share the same accessories and bus bars with the other devices like RCDs and AFDDs. In this diagram, I will explain some key values which have to be considered regarding MCBs. On the left hand side of the diagram, you see the cable and some specific thresholds of the current. On the right side of the diagram, the MCB and its threshold is shown. IEB is the operating current you would expect from the load connected to the system. The nominal or rated current, IN, of the protection device should be higher than the expected operating current, IB, of the system. When you select the overload protection device, you should for example consider the following. The ambient temperature, the number of devices mounted side by side to each other on the DIN rail and the altitude. In the catalog you can find tables for correction factors for the mentioned aspects. The cable carrying capacity I set should be of course higher than the nominal current IN of the MCB. The cable carrying capacity depends not only on the wire size but also on the type of insulation and the way the cable is installed. A current of 1.45 IZ is considered as a short-term overload that can be accepted for some time. The thresholds I1 and I2 are defined tripping points according to the standard. Up to I1 the MCB should hold the circuit and at I2 the MCB should trip within an hour. There are different dripping characteristics available for MCBs. Depending on the application, the suitable characteristic has to be chosen. Let's have a look on a typical dripping curve. The y-axis represents the time, the x-axis the multiple of rated current. First we see the thermal dripping curve. One is the conventional non-tripping curve, below this line is the safe non-tripping zone. Two is the conventional tripping curve, above this line is the safe tripping zone. Here the MCB must have tripped. Let us assume a current of 3.1 times the rated current. The MCB should trip earliest at 2.1 seconds and latest after 40 seconds. 
The MCB also has a magnetic trip, which will be activated in case of a short circuit. Up to three times the rated current, the MCB shall trip conventionally with a the thermal trip. Above five times the rated current, the MCB must trip immediately. The white curve 3 represents the characteristic of a copper cable. As the curve lies in the safe tripping zone, an MCB will protect the cable safely. The energy in case of a short circuit that passes the electrical system with all its wires, cables and all devices connected can be huge and can damage parts of it. It depends very much on the anticipated short circuit at the location of the fault and the time the short circuit is active. The diagram is an energy over the short circuit current curve for different MCBs of type S200, S200M and S200P. In the example we are using a S201B16 and we consider the worst case of 6 kA. This is what the MCB can handle. Follow the red line from the x-axis at 6 kA up to the curve at 16 A. It crosses the let-through energy at 28,000 ampere square seconds. From a let-through energy point of view, the PVC cable with 1.5 square millimeter will be protected well by the S201B16. Let us summarize. Miniature circuit breakers protect against overload and short circuit. When selecting the MCB, the following aspects must be considered. Downrating due to ambient temperatures, Downrating because of the number of devices mounted to, to each other on the DIN rail, altitude, the cable carrying capacity, the maximum specific let through energy of cables, and the type of load. Thank you very much for joining this learning episode.